All right there, guys, how are you doing? Today I'm at Gare du Midi, Brussels, on the way to uh, Amsterdam, blah, blah, car, bus. Already running a bit late. It's meant to pick me up 21 minutes ago at 12.20. Ah, there you can see it, maybe. Just behind these buses here. Well, it's definitely got blah, blah, car written on the side, but let's see if it's the one for us. Because I know they go to Lille from here as well. Poor girl in the bib, she has uh, no idea. People are asking her, oh, do you know where this one's going? She says, I have no idea. Apparently there might be no driver, let's see. Poor girl, everyone asking her uh, for other services as well, even though she's only here for blah blah car from the look of it. All right, this driver's just got off. Absolute chaos here on a Friday afternoon. No idea where it's going, doesn't say anything. It's German registered. All right, so I've received a little text message in French. Votre bus est annoncé avec du retard. Pour plus d'informations, nous vous invitons à consulter vos emails. Bonne journée, l'équipe blah blah car. Okay, so your bus is announced with a delay. Announced. Cool. Uh, for more information, we invite you to consult your emails. So now I have to go look at my emails. They sent me a message to say, look at your emails. Here we go. Votre bus est en retard. Okay. Nous mettons tout en œuvre pour réduire votre attente et vous communiquerons d'autres informations dès que possible. Okay, so they're doing everything they can to reduce our delay <laughs> and will communicate other information as soon as possible. Wow, I only bought this ticket yesterday. If they didn't have a driver, they should have just not uh, sold me the ticket. So yes, they literally sent me a text message to tell me to look at my emails to tell me that it's delayed. <laughs> I wonder if this is the bus. This is when you realise why it costs only 13 euro to take the bus. Garde Midi, Paris Bercy. All right, so it looks like this one's going to Paris, so not mine. We'll double check with the girl in the bib just before it goes. You never know um, with these services. They don't always update their little uh, sign things. It amazes me how people think this is the best place to stand to wait for the bus when you could line up along there. But instead you stand here and block the pavement. That's how we do it here in Brussels. It's really late. It's supposed to be 12 and 20. This is what happens when you try to save money and you take the bus instead I of the know, train. Especially <laughs> you know? I have to continue to the Cologne, Germany too. Oh wow, okay. When are you going to Cologne? Around 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Wow. Because because we don't stay stay we don't spend one night in Amsterdam. Right, we just okay. spend a, a day, like two hours. So we think that should oh, be wow. okay, but right now, <laughs> oh my goodness. Now you will miss your connection. Just got my lunch out, so I'm guessing this is exactly when the bus will arrive. Lunch has been and gone, still no bus. Look, I could order an Uber now for 360 euro, tempting. In other news, did you know that Flipco, the company that takes you to Charleroi Airport with the bus, now has double-decker buses. How exciting, maximum capacity. Shame they still charge 17 euro though. Go check out my video on uh, how to get there for much cheaper, like I do flying uh, to or from Charleroi Airport. Okay, this might be it. No. It says Paris to Brussels Gare de Midi. Our bus is now one hour and 15 minutes late. This isn't very good. Let's go have a look if it's this white one up ahead. I doubt it. I'm sure the blah blah car bus girl would have come and told us. Alas, no. It's a bus de remplacement if your train is cancelled. Well, what about if your bus is cancelled? Can they give you a replacement train bus? I'm guessing these guys lined up here are waiting for Amsterdam as well. Blah blah car bus girl, she's just disappeared. So the girl we were chatting to earlier, she's called up the bus company and uh, they said they can't find the bus. Whatever that means. There's another one arriving and it says Amsterdam centre. This might well be our bus. Let's see. It's right here. Let's see. Yeah. This is exciting. It says Amsterdam Centre. Yeah, Line 1657, is that yeah. right? Yeah. Yay, our bus is here. Yeah. One hour and a half late. Oh my god. Amsterdam people, here we go. What's worse is seeing people ending their journeys. That we want to be at the end of soon. 
but we're only just starting. Let's see how it goes. One hour and a half late, we're about to leave, if it is our one. The driver's arrived like three minutes ago, he's just sat there, and now people are asking him, <laughs> and they can't open it because of this stupid bike in the way. <laughs> oh, it's chaos. People are asking him, oh, can you come down and let the luggage out? And he's uh, just realized, oh yeah, I have to come and let the luggage out. I don't know, maybe he's usually a lorry driver or something. Who knows? He's got his power bank as well. Incroyable de retard. That's what the French woman was saying just behind me. Incredible delay, because it's come from Paris. The blah blah car <laughs> bus girl is back. Well, I need to take care of some business before I get on, because it seems like the toilet on there's locked. So much confusion. At least the driver's in good spirits. <laughs> Wow, finally we're on. That says C35, but... No USB or armrest. Oh, oh, there is a little one. What a glamorous life I live. There he is having a chat with the blah blah car girl. She's reminding him he's got to leave before we're two hours delayed so they don't have to pay his compensation. I think that's how it works. What a company. Two hours late now. Bienvenue dans le blah blah car 1657 à destination d'Amsterdam. Nous desservirons Rotterdam pour enfin finir à Amsterdam. Vous avez à votre disposition une poubelle. Merci d'y mettre vos déchets. Les poubelles. Les toilettes sont condamnées. Pour cela, nous effectuerons des arrêts en station. Quand nous repartirons de Rotterdam, je vous dirai combien de temps il nous reste pour arriver à Amsterdam. Je suis désolé pour le retard. Nous ne faisons pas la circulation, malheureusement. Je vous souhaite à tous un bon voyage. Merci. So the delay was caused by traffic. Uh, first of all, He's the driver the girl is to very translate. sorry for being late here today uh, because of the traffic. Um, there is uh, some trash for your garbage at your disposal, as well as, um, so the toilet doesn't work, so we'll have to do some stops for you to relieve yourselves. And um, when we'll be at Rotterdam, uh, the driver will tell us how much time there is left to be at Amsterdam. Thank you. And finally, we are on our way, two hours and seven minutes late. What a journey. So far I've made it a 10 minute walk from my house. It's half past three and we should be in Amsterdam already. But no, we're at a service station in Belgium still. Look at this. The last time I was here was on an away match with Union saint Gilles, And uh, we stopped over there and everyone had a, a quick slash over there. But we're gonna go in the building today. We have to stop off for the toilet because the toilet on the bus is broken or we can't use it or whatever so yeah off we go what an adventure so hot as well this unbelievable belgium the only country i know where you don't tip but you do pay to go to the toilet oh i can't get in oh there you go you take your ticket there there you go so you can use your little ticket they give you off the price of something in the shop. So I've just paid one euro 85 for a can of Coke. I need to keep my spirits up, I guess. Survive this journey, off we go, Amsterdam, here we come. See if we get there before midnight. Might have seen the driver in there as well. Well, he said we would stop for only five minutes. Well, we were there a bit longer and I was just behind them. They were getting some snacks. So made sure I didn't miss the bus by that way. Uh, Sticking with the driver, always stick with the bus driver. And of course, the bus is still there. Officially made it to the Netherlands. Making progress. We are arriving in Rotterdam. For those of you who are uh, stopping here, prepare yourself to. 
arrive and take off your belongings and uh, don't forget anything. And as the driver said, he's sorry for the, the delay. Thank you. Unbelievable. They've just got one of the passengers to interpret the getting off the bus message into English as we arrive in Rotterdam. You can't make this journey up, it's so fun. We just tried to go down a, a street with a low bridge in this bus. We had to reverse back out onto this main road here. The cars almost going into the back of us. Right, only two and a half hours late. So going to the toilet in service stations or train stations in Belgium and the Netherlands cost the same, 70 cents. In Belgium they give you a ticket to get 70 cents off your purchase. In the Netherlands are a bit stingier, they only give you 50 cents even though you've paid 70 cents to go to the toilet. And then you go to the shops and you can't even use them. Amsterdam Sloterdijk. Only seven hours after I left home. Journey of what? Six and a half hours if you include uh, the little wait <laughs> for the bus and then all the delays along the way. Here's all the other people waiting for their delayed buses as well. How fun. Right, so 13 euro from Brussels to Amsterdam on blah blah car bus. Was it worth it? Well, I think it's less a question of is it worth it, you know. It's more a question of what are you willing to suffer. Train tickets, when I had a look, they were about 50 euro one way and I don't always want to pay that. It's not always worth it, especially if I'm not going somewhere in a rush. I mean, I'm meeting a friend, but we don't have any like concrete plans. I wasn't trying to get here on time for anything in particular. So 13 euro, that's great. I would say if it's on time, perfect. If it's not on time, then you're going to suffer. 13 euro, great price if you get the good service. And I've had pretty bad experiences over the year with, uh, over the years with blah blah car anyway. So yeah, there you go. Okay, didn't want to do a negative one. I just wanted to do a review of the trip basically, but it turned into one of these ones where uh, <laughs> things don't go quite according to plan and you end up um, at your destination more than three hours late. All right guys, keep traveling wherever you are. I'm going to go have some fun in Amsterdam now.